Good afternoon, everybody. I hope uh, you're doing well. If you're new here to my channel, my name is Anna. And as you can see, my channel is Vintage Jewelry Galore. I buy, collect, and resell vintage costume jewelry, some sterling, some designer names. Um, and I'm working on a collecting of antiques, so eventually I will release some of those when I have enough and I'm ready to let some go. But the video here today, I'm going to show you items I've picked up over the last week, week and a half, and most of these will be for, for sale, um, either on Mercari, eBay, or here on YouTube. I normally show the items on YouTube first. I just started, I will have, I had my first alone auction. I was found a thrift helping me, and it was, it was a good auction. It was, I really appreciate her help, um, more than words can say. And, but anyways, let, um, I'm gonna, let me get on to what I was talking about here. What was I saying? Oh, every Monday of the month, I will have a live buy it now sale. It'll be between 8 or 9 p.m., depending on what my schedule looks like. But I'll come on and do a one, one and a half hour, depending on how things go, maybe two, um, buy it now sale. Like where I'll show items and um, name a price and you can buy them. And the second Monday of the month, I will have an auction. So that's one auction a month that I'm going to have. And that'll be live, of course, in no, typically three to four hours. I, I, and I most likely will be auctioning alone. Sometimes Thumb will help me when she can. Um, but I may team up with some, somebody in the future. I don't know. But for this time point, I probably will do it alone. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show these items. Um, first, I'm going to start off with some items I picked up from other YouTubers. Um, that's what I normally do. Uh, at, um, and I need the card. I Sorry, Doug. Um, Vintage Boutique Cali. He was on Jewelry Nurse like a, two weeks ago and I got some items. And this, this is one I really, really like this. This is um, a compact. It's a vintage compact. Look, it has the little lipstick holder and a little puff. A little mirror. And an adorable handle. This will go in the background of my little desk here, probably. I like it. I think it's very nice. And I got this ring, too, from him. Sterling Cabochons. Not Sterling. It's Sterling and Turquoise Cabochons. <laughs> Sterling Cabochons. All right. And then um, I have now, I was trying to get, you know, I'm new at getting um, a lot of jewelry. I, I started off basically nothing due to unfortunate circumstances I'm not going to mention here. But since I've started collecting and gigging, um, I got this from Thelma. I go to her auctions on Saturday so at face, on Facebook. This is a moonstone, as you can see, in sterling. And it completes now. I have a ring, earrings, necklace, and I need a bracelet, I guess. But it's pretty. I love moonstone. I have a ring that I picked up off Kristen D. It's really, really nice to flash, and it's amazing. Um, and then... Whatever, I got the earrings in a bag or something. But let me get started on showing the items that I've just recently picked up. This is my first antique brooch. Sterling and it's an amethyst. In there, it's beautiful. And look at the back. It has the tube hinge and the C-class. And when I saw it online, I was questioning, I'm gonna put my glasses on, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. I make that joke because somebody made a comment about how I was removing my glasses so often during my auction of Gina Gay. Somebody was really rude to me. I don't know who she really was. Um, probably just a random person that's rude. But anyways, I don't want to get into that. I, that was just a joke from me saying about me removing in my glasses. But I thought this wasn't original initially back here because of the way it looked, but it is. Fully intact and lovely. And my very first actual antique brooch. Makes me very happy, and I tested the amethyst, and it's real. And um, I didn't get to take it to the jeweler yet. He's he's been sick, unfortunately. I hope he's okay. I I don't know what's going on with him. But the woman who I bought that off of, I bought one of I bought one um, mosaic pin, and she sent me two free. Like, so I have that one. Two of them look really similar. A little bit different though. There's. This one, and the one I just showed you, and then I have one that's 
I got this all together um, from the same person. I bought a, I like, um, I like the West Germany jewelry. And let me hang this up. This is an, a necklace and earring set that I just purchased off of somebody online. It's a little cameo. Um, it's not shell, but it looks vintage. Um, it's pretty. I mean, it's West Germany anyways, but. And then there's these little earrings. Oh, she's upside down, isn't she? Ah, cameo earrings. There we go. There's two of them. I just happen to have one in my hand. So I just bought that. That's mine. I, I probably won't sell that. Um, and like the, oh, I may sell the mosaic brooches, but the antique one's definitely mine. I, um, I was super excited to find it and I, I got it for a really decent price as well. Lee Sands Lion Necklace. A little bit different than the one I sold at auction. This one's brown and wood. You see that? My light's like shining right on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there you go. He's shining like a mirror. I got that. This is a Chico's necklace. It's rather nice. Um, it, it's a heavy weight, the medallion or pendant, whatever you want to call that on there. And it's, it is, um, it's all gold tone. It looks like you're sober in there because of that lighting. Let me move it back. See, it's nice. It's Chico's. This is nice weighted. Looks like a fabulous 1980s piece to me, you know, multiple strands. Almost looks like this could be a Monet. But it's not. It's Chico's with a lobster claw clasp in it. But it's nice. I will be selling that at the sale if anybody's interested in that. Um, I found a Brighton. Uh, this is Sterling. I believe. Well, I know it is. Um, it's a Brighton solid Sterling bracelet. Ooh. That's nice. I'll sell that at some point. I don't know when. Um, I'm not really a collector of Brighton. I'm not a, I mean, I am a collector of certain things. I'm not going to say I'm not. I'm a new collector. Right now, I'm, I'm trying to find, like, some old Trafari and stuff. I haven't had any luck yet. I'm, I'm working on that, though. Extremely old when they first started. But these are pearls and natural pearl sterling findings on it. And um, I think it's called... Rock quartz. Anybody that maybe watches this, if you want to chime in, like white ball rock quartz. It's clear. It is a quartz. I tested it, but it looks a little different than regular quartz and white quartz, like rock. I think it's called rock quartz. Could be wrong on it. This has matching earrings too. It's pretty. I'll be selling this and these earrings. I'm backwards. There we go. Little matching with the quartz on them and the pearls and sterling. The uh, the findings are sterling on on that as well. These I think I have to. I'm trying to figure these little fellows here. Hold on a minute. Um, these are frogs. And I, they're sterling and stone. They're little. This part sterling, and I like these almost look. They have like silver, like in between the different stones. But they're adorable. They're little frog earrings. I just found those. Let's decide if I'm selling them or not. This is Swarovski um, brooch, enamel, and crystals. It's pretty. What else? I found a, a clump of poison A bangles that I will sell at the sale at some how. If, if hopefully somebody's interested in them. If not, I'll put them online. So, they're nice. They're in great shape and they're all different colors. There are seven of these. Like I said, this isn't a sales video. I'm just showing what I picked up over the last week. These are um, brass. And I think that stone, I have to look at it closer. 
but they're a nice bangle heavy nice um feel substantial they're not cheap and there's no seam on them they're well made these are really cute these are a heavy not heavy heavy but not a hollow these are a nice uh sterling silver heart earrings they're pretty nice this is pinned on here on plastic card i still bought it though because it's made in ireland and hand set in ireland those are glass uh, cabochons in there and um i thought it was cool i don't know which position it's supposed to be and doesn't matter it's nice oh it just fell off it's heavy it's got some weight to it it's it's a well-made piece um Oh, these are really nice. These are those like, what do you call it? These things that go around your ear, cuff earrings, I, ear loop cuffs. These are sterling and, uh, and turquoise. And these are really nice. Let's see, like all that sterling and they have this little thing that like, I guess it hoops around your ear. I've never worn these. My I have my one daughter would really love these actually. Maury. Um this is cute too, I thought. This is a little a brass and um little bag that opens. Let me show it to you. I'm doubling up the chain. It's got a long chain on it. It's stone. Do one of my dangles? Hold on a yeah, it's missing a dangle. I'm probably missing a dangle from the minute I bought it. Whatever, I'll just keep this one. I might sell it if somebody's willing to take it without its dangle. But um, I like it. Like it's really cool. It opens up. It is missing a dangle though. I don't know if it's been missing it since I bought it. It's hard to tell. I mean, not really, not that I'm looking at it now. It's not hard to tell, but it's cute. That's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying to me. Um, I didn't pay a lot for it, but still more than what I should have with a missing dangle, considering the prices. I can get things sometimes. This is nice. Got some lamp work on its glass. It's all glass, like on the sash. And... All the pieces are glass. I thought it was pretty. I like the glass necklaces. Um, it's pretty. Okay, these are pe peacock pearls. Peacock pearls and sterling right here. They're nice. They're really nice. Um, I actually Probably like a pair of earrings I can pair up with these um, in, in a box somewhere. This is a Sarah Coventry. This is cute. It has faces and crabs on it. Little face. No crab, like all over it, obviously. It's Sarah Cove. It's signed. It's a cute bracelet. I don't pick her stuff up a whole lot, but I thought that that was really cute. Cute. Oh, uh, how do you like that? Is that <laughs> the way I said that? It's cute. Sterling and garnet. I may have shown this one before, but still, it's it's nice. I it warrants being shown again. I think it's. I bought this online too. I got a good price on it, and it is garnet and sterling. It's pretty nice. I don't know if I showed it. Little spoon bracelet. These ones are stirred, all, all the pieces are sterling, except for these are plated, you know, spoon pieces. I think I have to test them again. They may actually be sterling. I don't know. It's a sterling spoon bracelet though. Pieces of a spoon that made it. This is, it's glasses. I use magnifying glass. Um, it works too. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Does that help? Now it makes it worse. I'm sorry. Um, it's a flower and there's a sterling that's encased underneath a plastic of some sort. 
Um, and it's really pretty. It's this little pendant. It's nice, I thought. So I picked it up. This is a watch. Then these are semi-precious stones. Scarabs. The hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics are not seen on the back of this, actually. It's, like, closed in. But they, they test as um, semi-precious stones. I don't know if it works. It's a Lafayette. It's not a real high-end watch or anything like that, but I still picked it up. I thought these were adorable. These are little kitty cat brass, double brass, you know, the typical brass and then the silver toned brass, little cats laying on a bed. But they were adorable. When I see the cats, I pick them up. I like them. I don't necessarily wear them, but I know people like them, so I fear somebody might want them. <sighs> um, I have lapis here. They do have pyrite in them. Um, I get confused with the blue stones, you know, but I do know that there will be pyrite sparkles in lapis, and these do have that. These are nice. These are sterling and lapis. Um, marble earrings. Yeah. I played hooky from a job today I was supposed to do. I was exhausted. I was up. I don't know why. I went to bed at 1.30. And then I, I woke back up at 2.25. I was up until 7.45. I don't know what was on my mind. Something was. Um, unreal. But... I couldn't go to the job. I, I do physical, I do physical labor. I have a small cleaning business and I am the business. And I was too tired. These are sterling, these are nice. These, I call them squiggles, but these are not brass. These are sterling silver. Hey, Annie, if you watch my video, you, you probably like these, huh? She liked the other squiggles, but I'd already sold them to somebody else. Yeah, they're nice. They're sterling silver. Look at the back. They're, um, sorry about that. It got scratched off. They're nice. They're nice earring, and I will sell them. Like I said, I sell most of what I buy. Um, and I try to buy things I think people like. Um, I mean, I could be off on some of it. It's like my Japan jewelry. I, hmm. yeah, I'm going to be doing a video soon, um, where I might show some of it. I'll probably get a lot of thumbs down. No, I'm joking. Um, I really think some of it's really beautiful. This one is, I just picked this up. It's always exceptionally cheap. Um, like on the wall, they, they price it like the Mardi Gras beads that women, you know, lift their shirt for. Um, but it's really, it's, it's a little nicer than that, in my opinion. These have, there's glass and plastic mixed. There are no crystals on this one, and it's, I don't have it. But there's little gold caps on the ends, which, um, it's a vintage necklace. It's Japan. I think it's beautiful. I like it. I like the Japan jewelry. I have a number of really fantastic... Oh, wait. Is there a crystal in it? A lot of times there is. No. No. There's some really lovely stones, though. Um, glass that look like stones. Paint. It's nice. It's... I keep that. No, I don't know if anybody really wants that anyway, so... Abalone and sterling. The, ear, the interesting thing about this is... This is sterling. The pendant sterling and the earrings are all packed up. But they had them stuck together at the thrift store. and So I got them. They, they look pretty good together. You could still wear them together. I'll probably... I, I don't know if I'm going to sell them together as separate. I love my red. Um, I do love the color red. I like the color red. I'm not going to say I love it. It's a strong word. <sighs> to me it is. Um... I try not to use it too freely. Um, but this is really, really lovely. It's rhinestone red and white rhinestone. And that light is really shiny. Look how shiny. It's beautiful. I'll be wearing that. I'll keep that one. I don't think anyone's going to beat the door down for it anyways. Um, this is a elephant brace. <laughs> this is it's made in Thailand. And it's like a... It doesn't stick to a magnet, but it's not silver. It's, can you see that? Probably. Usually, like, it looks better when I watch it after. But anyways, that's an elephant bracelet. I got purses. This is a Sasha. This is adorable, I think. Just something to leave lay around, though. I wouldn't carry this, but I will sell it uh, somewhere if anybody wants it. At some point. Um, 
I'd like to be able to pull purses out occasionally on sales and not like fluster anybody. Some people buy them, so I will. There's a couple people that I sell to that, that buy them. So this is really cute though. It's hard in the buckles, but with the way it flows, it has little feet. It's very nice. This chain comes off. You can take it off and it's adorable. It's a hard purse, but it's cute. And it's a Sasha. I've got a really nice Michael Kors for this price. Um, I have it stuffed right now, so it's not like slouchy and hangy, like getting messed up. But, uh, this is black, right? Oh, I'm almost colorblind too. It's nice. It's a nice Michael Kors with like no damage on it. And I'll pull this out at some part of time. I'm gonna like continue to do attempt to do sales videos on purses too. Um, I've sold a couple, not a whole lot. This is a big Buddha and it's leather. It's cute actually. It's a small purse. It's clean. They're all clean. I smell them to see if it smells like leather. You can tell <laughs> without even reading the tag. At least I can. Um, most people can. Big Buddha. I like their purses. They're nice. I have a big one with chain link. Um, with leather intertwined in between the chains. This is cute, it's like a furry, felty little house purse. I thought it was adorable. And one more purse. So I picked up, what, five two or, yeah. This one's nice. It's brand new too, basically. But that's it, those are the purses. Those are the things I found over the last week, week and a half that I'll be selling somewhere. Um. I'll be, like I said, I'll be doing a pre-sale video. It's not going to be an auction on Monday. I don't want to auction weekly. I figured that once a month is enough for that for me at this time, since I also have my cleaning business and 11-year-old daughter. I need to be make it feasible of like what I can actually physically do without exhaustion. So, um, like I said, every Monday will be a sale video between live sale video from eight until nine. It's not a video. I'll be live. And then afterwards, if anybody wants to purchase what didn't sell, they can always come on and ask for it, you know, email me and ask. But, um, like I said, I will be doing, I will do a sale, like a preliminary video showing items that I will have. So you get an idea of what I have so you can see if you're interested in coming. It will not, it will not be everything. I will always have additional items that will be coming. I'm waiting for a few interesting things. I found a couple of nice Monet necklaces. Not like the high, high-end ones, but nice ones. Um, what else am I waiting on? A couple of Monet. Can't remember. I, I've been, oh, some pins. A couple Joan Rivers. Kenneth J. Lane, a nice one. Duchess of something, can't remember exactly. But I have a number of items coming in um, still in the mail that I've ordered. I've been handpicking for the most part. I'd like to get another big bag, but the, it just terrifies me the thought of having overload of bulk that I can't get rid of. I start to feel um, like I can't breathe. I <laughs> like in a relationship where you can't breathe. You know what I mean? Somebody over you all the time. I'm um, type of thing with the jewelry. It's like I, I have to have it somewhat organized. In. But I do want to get it because I know people find fabulous things um, in their jewelry. I've had people in the family find some great things. Um, but anyways, I don't want to talk about that or them right now. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. And if you got this far, um, thank you. And I hope to see some people at my sale on Monday. I know it's going to be a live sale. Buy it now. There's going to be a couple of auctions going on. I try not to step on anybody's feet when I schedule my things. You know, I, I, I try my hardest to be considerate of other people. But um, there's only so many days of the week. And some people do auctions three to four days a week. So it's hard to avoid. It's not a deliberate thing to schedule on the same day. It's just very difficult to avoid. And like I said, mine will be a buy it now sale. It will not be an auction. But I'm going to have some really good items there. And um, as you know, I give good prices on my stuff. So I'm hoping some of you will join me and um, come check out what I have. Or if you're at the auctions, come on after. You know, um, come on to the video afterwards. And if there's something that hasn't sold that you want, you know, you can get it then. Anyways, I am really going to go now. Like I said, I am a very long-winded goodbye. Oh, one more thing. 
I thought it was amber. It's not. <laughs> when you're looking online, in my eyes, I'm not that well trained. Um, but I did find this, which I, that was a good catch. And I recognized it from just looking. But anyways, all right. Oh, I do have more amber coming too. Nothing great. It, well, it's a beer, a, a, an adorable beer. Um, shaped, it's amber, but it's shaped like a bear. I have that coming in a nice bracelet. It's not real substantial, but it's nice um, that it's amber. So yeah, I do have some other things coming that I will bring on this Monday, and then I'm saving some for the auction. Um, all right, thank you, and have a good day.